Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors on Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here. We've got a great show lined up. We're going to do some giveaways today. Give away that beautiful campsite for the weekend over on Black Creek, but we're going to do that a little bit later. But let's go and do our weather now brought to us by Haney Tetrican Center at the corner of Baldwin and Highway 77. Guess what? It's going to be hot again today. But we do have some cooler weather coming, uh, especially uh, throughout the southeast. It's been fascinating to watch uh, the heat wave across America. It's been amazing in the southeast. But anyway, high today is going to be 93 and low 74. And our water temperature is still at 85. It hasn't moved in about a week and a half now. 85 degrees on the Gulf water temperature, according to NOAA. And, of course, uh, our river is brought to us by Mountain Dew. Take it outside with Mountain Dew. I know you all be drinking a lot of that. Uh, this weekend because it's still hot and we're looking at the river readings uh, the Appalachia of Blunstown 1.3 it's low and also the chalked edge of Caraville is a point it's going down from 0.3 to a point two it's going to start going up river now I tell you it's amazing how low the rivers are and I do have some pictures if I get to it showing you some some pictures folks have sent in of the river being so low our tie chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn Good strong tide today. The low tide, well, we're going to have a high tide first right after midnight at about 12.40, and then the low tide will be right around lunch, okay? So it's going out all morning. It'll be fascinating. And start coming back in the afternoon. If you get a chance, just tell your boss you need to leave work at lunch and start fishing that incoming tide. I'm sure he'll agree to it, okay? Let's go and take our weather. Our marine forecast will be coming out of west at about 8 to 9. Let's take a break. We'll be back with our special guest. Welcome back, folks, and welcome to our guest on the end down here, John Whited. Okay, glad to have you, John. Thank you. Good to be here. Great. And Cheryl. We had Cheryl Morton on before, and uh, I gave her a hug this morning because she's doing so good the last couple of times. She's worked herself up to a hug for me. So we're, <laughs> well, we're thank glad. you. <laughs> we're glad <laughs> to have you all. all. Second chance. Second uh, chance. And uh, so tell us about, this is something I feel so strong about. You know, our goal on here is to, uh, really one of our main goals is to help our fellow man. And these folks here, they do a lot of work for helping their fellow man. So tell us about, about Second Chance. Well, I'm happy to do that. Uh, Second Chance is, uh, started in 1992 and, uh, by Dr. Clell Warner, the late doctor. And, uh, and so we've been going and getting stronger every year. It was, uh, it's something that I believe in, of course, or I wouldn't be there mm -hmm. with you know, volunteering. And we have now uh, about uh, 80 people that are coming about 80 a week is what I would say. So we are growing. We uh, did lose some people after the uh, after the storm. Mm -hmm. uh, people moved away and whatever, but they're coming back and and additional uh, additionally the word is out I guess and people mm -hmm. are coming. And so we have a big crowd every day now, and that's wonderful. They have activities that they do, and they just you know it's a real camaraderie there. Yeah. Everybody um, you know looks out for each other. And, uh, and so uh, we're having fun, we're having fun. And, and your clients, most of them are, are different ages, have different injuries, and uh, tell us about the clients. Yes, you know? they're, they're all adults uh, over the age of 18 mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and can go right on up. We do have some uh, folks there that are uh, Parkinson, mm -hmm. have Parkinson's, and so we have now started a dance class for them because their dance class was destroyed downtown. Yeah. So we're inviting them to come as well. Most everybody is a brain, has a brain injury. And mm -hmm. of course, along with brain injuries, very often comes mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And so we deal with that as well. Mm -hmm. So, yep, so we're, we're trying to cover um, those people that got lost in the, in the storm, I guess mm -hmm. you'd say, with their programs. And so they're welcome to come as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. I know we, we had you on here before. We all started something last year. We're continuing this year. And John, tell us a little bit about this, what we're doing now. Well, you know, they call it Sporting Clays. It's a skeet shooting tournament. It's going to be held out at Steelfield on October mm -hmm. 18th in the morning, Friday, for those who want a good excuse to get out of work and start It's going to be a week early. from today, by the way. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, well, it's uh, the 18th. Yes. Two. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Two, weeks. two yeah. weeks. I'm sorry. I hope it's two weeks. we got a little more work to do. <laughs> yeah. um, and, but it's, you know, there's 18 stations. It's really very similar to a golf tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, teams of four. And uh, you go, shoot, keep score. We'll have prizes. Have a good time. Have some good food. The I roll Olympia truck's going to feed us lunch. Uh, cool. So, oh, yeah, man. It's going uh, to be a good time. 
Well, I went to it last year. I'm going again this year, and I've already got it on my calendar. And uh, I ended up, uh, Ronnie Groom and I got on a golf cart, just rode around. But I got a kick out of seeing so many, and they were in teams and all. Mm -hmm. And it was fascinating because, you know, we talked about the shooting range. You got the little rabbit running across, you got the dove flying here. You got a little bit of everything. It's a beautiful, beautiful facility uh -huh. out there. And uh, uh, we, we want to get some more ladies to come, we want to get some more teams. What we want to do is get together some teams and all and start competing. I know last year we had some companies out there with some of their uh, people working with them that had their teams. And now you mentioned ladies. Well, we need to get some ladies teams out there and because uh, some of those ladies can shoot. Can, <laughs> oh, they're all better man. than us. Oh, oh, yeah. they're, well, they're, I figured this out a long time ago. Y'all are more patient than we are. I mean, when They've the track comes out, boom, 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 we're going to shoot. And what y'all do is gracefully, boom, they shoot it. Same thing they do with us. They just I, wait I, for us to step in it. And then, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's fascinating watching that. So uh, we're going to have, if they want to enter and they be a part of, how do they get in contact with y'all? Well, you want to talk? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, they can get a hold of us at secondchance.org. Uh, we're over at A.D. Harris, uh, where the sixth grade center used to be. Okay. We're housed with FEMA. FEMA's moved in. They're a good neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. It's very secure now over there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, they filled the place up. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, it's online here, uh, Second Chance in Northwest Florida. And uh, you can also call us at 850 yeah. 769 Seven 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 nine. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, yeah, we've got some great sponsors already. We got Bay Cars. Uh, okay. We've got Culligan. Uh, we got Fohan in the Neuro uh, Pain Center as well. Okay. And uh, individual shooters, a hundred dollars. Sponsorships start at five hundred dollars. Yeah. For that, you get four shooters, lunch, and a sign, uh, and hopefully a good door prize. But uh, uh, one of our big things, I think, we're going to be raffling off, is uh, going to be a seven hundred and fifty dollar gift certificate to C and G. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, and, oh. and we're we think we're gonna. I, I think Snowgrove's gonna give us some stuff from Hal. He said he was going to. Yeah. I, so we'll probably give that to the worst shooter <laughs> because my wife said, you know, if they can't shoot, they need to learn how to fish. <laughs> That's a, oh, you got a smart wife. She well, you know, she's with me, but still, yeah, she's pretty smart. Real quick, because we have a lot of viewers out there, some old timers and all. Your wife is part of what family? The, Laird. The Laird family. So we talked about some timber and all. We all we all know the Laird family of timber. I was fascinated talking to you before the show. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back. We've got a couple of pictures to show you. They're going to get set up for our drawing. We're going to talk a little bit more about this uh, great event we have coming up in two weeks from today. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Sitting here with John White and Cheryl Norton here with Second Chance, and what a great organization. A lot of volunteers put this together and work very hard, and we're, we're asking for your support and coming together, and uh, I'm going to be there two weeks from now. Like I say, uh, we'll get some teams together. I want to see some of you ladies out there, but before we get back, I, we're talking about how dry it's been, and one of my viewers sent this picture. Uh, this is fascinating. This is the Choctatchee River north of Ozark, okay? These two pictures, and this is what's fascinating. We talk about this is, you know, this is amazing how dry it is. I had a guy call me the other day, said his fish he's catching, he's got to dust them off, they're so dry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, I've got some catfish pictures. I'm gonna show you all those pictures coming uh, on, on a Monday show, because we wanna, we're gonna get back to some of this stuff here. But uh, w one of the things, though, if, if we wanna enter as a team, we just have a sponsorship, and then individuals can shoot. Uh, That's yeah. right, yeah, $100 uh, for a shooter. Uh, any individual shooter, the teams, like I said, start at five, so that gives you four shooters, plus a sign, just mm -hmm. like in a golf tournament, yeah. uh, and uh, and lunch, of course, and, uh, and and you can give us as much money above that as you want. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to limit it at all. No, right? not at all. We, we, we got plenty of the higher level sponsorships if anybody wants them. We were talking about a mutual friend of ours, Ronnie Groom, who mm -hmm. is a guru and a legend around here, and he's very fond of this. I, he, I thank goodness for Ronnie yeah. that, that he's he so is. good to us. He, he is. is, and mm -hmm. his support means a mm -hmm. whole lot. He came out to the first one, and he looked around at it, and he thought, you know, this could work. This ain't bad. It's yeah. not a golf tournament. Yeah. Not to run them down, but we got a lot of those up of to our money. ears, and then yeah. you know we wanted to stand out and be different. And it's fall. It's hunting time. Mm -hmm. uh, and and but, you know, but just for Ronnie to put a stamp on it and say he thought it was a good idea yep. means an awful lot to us. Yes. And his wife also. Yes. Yes, Jane. She came, yeah. she yeah. came to the You don't the have Ronnie shoot. without Jane. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Yeah. And uh, it, it's sort of set up like a golf course. Very much. 18 holes. And you just yeah. Go, 18 stations. 18. You move around mm -hmm. and uh, you shoot, and then you move, shoot, and then you move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just like that. And they have golf carts to ride around in. That's fun, too. That's fun, too. And, yeah. you know, we talk about... Uh, we got dove season opening up tomorrow, mm -hmm. and really, uh, uh, this is a great 
great practice because I know a lot of y'all going to be out there tomorrow, y'all going to miss a lot of shots. But if you've been practicing shooting these clays, you'd be getting all those dubs up almost every time, right? That's right. And, <laughs> no. and it's a good facility. It's reasonable even when we're not having a clay shoot. Mm -hmm. So get out there and support them. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah. But yeah, come practice. Yeah. And talking about support, uh, I know John's an old Bay, Bay High graduate. And they all tailgate at the Friday Night Live sometimes, or you were doing that? Trying to, yeah, yeah. we're trying to build that up more. Our yeah. uh, 40th uh, reunion's next year, and we started doing it a couple years ago that's when cool. I moved home. It's a why not? Yeah, that's cool. And, and listen, we're going to talk about Friday Night Live. Tonight, I'll be up at Bozeman, and uh, Sneed's Bozeman football game. I have some kin folks coming down from Sneed's, and uh, we're going to watch a good football game. And I enjoy watching high school football. When, when I'm in town. Nothing better it than the football, than the, the, the high school ball yeah. games. Well, now, where'd yeah. you grow up? Right here. Right here with Old Bay High School. Old Bay High School, and graduated in 1960. Well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, went to high school with my parents. Yes. No kidding. Mm -hmm. And you know, yep. it was, it was one school, right? right? That's yeah, right. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Bay High School. That was, yeah. the, that that, was the school. It's right. been a fascinating time. It has been. It yeah. has been. Wonderful. Yeah, Rutherford yeah. showed up in 1962 when I did. Okay. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about that, but you know, yep. but the thing about Bay High it started in 1926. Uh, you know, it's the oldest accredited school in the yeah. state. Uh, and by the way, we're the only place like us in the state. There's no other place like Second Chance either. Yeah. But is uh, that right? Yeah. I, I did not know that. There's no. not. No, yeah. there's nothing else. There's, there's nothing like that. And Dr. Warner started it back in the 90s. Yes, Dr. he did. Dr. Clay Warner. Yes. A lot of folks knew him. With his patients, uh, mm -hmm. he realized there was um, a need for for something more than just you know, maybe the hour that he could provide in counseling. Mm -hmm. And so he, he started it, and we started with eight people oh. who needed the program, and we started down on um, East Beach Drive. With the old P, uh, PMA, uh, mm -hmm, the old PMS, PMS building. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, and um, started down there. kind of bad shape, but um, <laughs> we made it work. And, uh, and so, and You've I, been with them that long? Or? I, I have. Well, I was, uh, I was fortunate that Dr. Um, Warner, for some reason, you know, he was very careful about who he accepted uh, into his presence. But um, he liked me for some reason. I was still working with the state, so uh, in a position that he thought was would be worthy to his, yeah. his program. And so um, he used me as a, I was a volunteer, yeah. and I'm still a volunteer. But wow. um, I retired several years ago, and uh, so they've been letting me hang around there for another. 13 years so oh we, yeah. we, we can't but, get by it without her I, I mean I, I don't want to want to think about what's gonna be like if she ever leaves yeah. but we but, did we do have a, um, a good program going now mm -hmm. you know uh, we have all kinds of activities for our folks yeah. uh, and like uh, movement therapy mm -hmm. uh, we music have singing music therapy yeah. we're starting another uh, another choir life, life, uh, life yeah. skills Yes. Teach them how yes. to do laundry and oh, stuff cool. like that. You know, it provides a lot of respite too for the families. Yeah. It does. And a, and it a does community indeed. too for them to have some support yeah. and to commiserate with other people who yeah. have, you know, right. similar things. Yeah. And, the, and the beauty of our program is um, Dr. Warner did not want to rely on state or federal funding. Yeah. <laughs> and Good. so he, he, um, he said this is going to be a basically free program. Mm -hmm. And so what we charge is $50. I wonder if he would even like that now that, you know, <laughs> well, several years we had to implement a little yeah. program of, yeah. you know, pay if you can. So we charge $50 a month mm -hmm. if they can afford to pay it. Yeah. And you'd be surprised how many can't yeah. afford it. Yeah. Most these, these are adults and most of them have been out in life working and, you know, had families of their own and then mm -hmm. this injury happened and now they're probably back living with their own parents and those kinds of things. Yes. So, uh, so we know that there's not a lot, a lot of money. And that's why we do these programs. We that's have awesome. to. Well, you know, the other place you might know us from is the Blessing of the Fleet. We do that right. every spring. We do the, mm -hmm. the, the sock burning, uh -huh. uh, return to summer, and uh, the fish fry. And so that's yeah. us, too. Yeah. We're, yeah, yeah. we're also doing that down at St. Andrews Marina. And because uh, we don't take a lot of money. A lot of our yeah. folks don't have any money. So well, we got to go out and raise some. we got to uh, shoot some sporting clays yeah. and fry yeah. some fish. This is this great uh, American tradition of just getting something started without any kind of government interference and all. Say, this is the right thing to do. And this is what Dr. Warner did. This is the right thing to do. And then people like y'all come in and say, this is right. right. You don't have to get all these guidelines and all that because y'all know what's right and wrong. That's and right. That's what I love about this. Yeah. And I, I, sometimes I wish our school system was like that. Yeah. You know, just run, we know how to run a school. Don't tell us what to do. Yeah. But anyway, well, this we, is we're awesome. still approved I, I, by the state. We well, I know y'all approving all, but yeah, uh, have, I, 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 be, I know, admire y'all. My hats off to y'all, and we want to do all we can to help support. So it's yeah. a great opportunity. If you don't want to shoot for some reason, you might not be able to shoot or don't want to embarrass yourself. Maybe you can sponsor someone else. 
to come shoot. I can line up some shooters now. We got yeah. plenty of that. Yeah, <laughs> come give us so, a sponsorship. If you don't want to fill yeah, out a team, that's awesome. okay too. And this if you don't team. have a gun, uh, you can rent one. Oh, they can rent. Yeah, we've got that's plenty right. of guns out right. there. Yeah. You can rent yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, they oh. even have girly ones. They have pink guns. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. I want to get a picture of Ronnie Green with a pink gun. That yeah. would be special with a gun. We can sell tickets for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we got to move on. we gotta, we got to uh, give some things away today, okay? And I'm going to let y'all help me because I want people get, when they get that, when they don't win, they get mad. So I want them to get mad at y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, this per first draw, uh, this is going to be for the campsite giveaway. I had a lot more interest than I thought. Oh, wow. And uh, this is that. Free weekend at Black Creek at a campsite of Larry Browns, and this y'all saw the picture. It's beautiful. And thank y'all for all the interest. And, and so I'm going to let you, uh, Cheryl, I'm going to let you draw one name out of here. Just okay. one? Just oh one my. name. And this is going to be the winner. Okay, and the winner is going to be all the way from the Funiac Springs. Oh, wow. Philip Canterbury. Congratulations. You folks who didn't win, I'm sorry she didn't pull your name out. <laughs> but uh, listen, I'm going to give you Larry Brown's address and all, and maybe you can, he's going to rent the, that place out later on, and maybe you can still go up there, because that would be something neat to get to, and they all know what I'm talking about. Now, where now, is that located? It's at so Black Creek that goes into the Choctatchee River. It's over in Walton County. Oh. You need to hit him up for a sponsorship. Uh, yeah. 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 Hit everybody up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, now this, uh, this is our regular Friday drawing. I'm going to let you draw first, John. This is going to okay. be a $20 gift certificate to Toppenock Seafood. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, wow. You know, he's a huge sponsor okay. of us for the spring. He gives he's us our good. fish. Yep. You know, Abrams is yep. good for us. Greg Abrams and a winner all the way from Holmes County, Ooh. Aubrey Carroll. Okay. okay. Wonderful. We got two different counters there. Now, this is going to be for the red snapper from Talking Dock, a big oh, red snapper. Oh, wow. I wish right. my name were in and there. And extra snapper days this uh, fall. Yeah, we've been talking about that. I yeah. wish they'd have told us before, you know, they <laughs> let us have it, you know, so we could be ready. <laughs> exactly. And the winner, I, we're going to talk about that. Okay. You gotta be kidding. This is funny. The other winner of the Red Snapper is Jeff Carroll from Westville. And uh, those, that's the same, that's different family members and all. That whole crew up there. Well, they can have a fish oh. uh, they, yeah. they, they do. <laughs> well. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Y'all let us know when you're gonna cook all that stuff. Yeah. But I, I wanna thank you all for coming on. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you in two weeks for sure. Yes, you sir. And we, thank appreciate, you. we appreciate what y'all do. Thank, thank you so much. much. You too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Folks, we'll be right back with a famous Friday fishing forecast. All right, welcome back, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you get a chance to participate. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get to our fishing report now. And I'm going to start off, with, and we got Google Earth this week. Remember last week we didn't have Google Earth, we had a wing. But I want to talk about freshwater fishing. Uh, have you seen the pictures? i got some huge catfish to show you on, on Monday's show. I didn't have time to get to them with the guests today. But let's talk about freshwater because folks are tearing it up. You saw the picture of the Choctatchee River up there north of Ozark, right across the bridge. Larry Brown sent those pictures in. You see how low it is. It's just like that all over. And I, I think about places that we, we fished as, as a kid and all. I'm on a, right in the center of the screen, we're going up river, up the big river down below Blunt, Bristol is a landing called a Stiff and Ugly. Now, I've mentioned this before, but this, this landing special to me, and I'm going to zoom on in. You see the name there. When I was growing up, my dad told me the story. They all, all the old timers called it Stiff and Ugly, okay? Because the story was they found a old, old dead man there. <laughs> long, this is the story. A long time ago, and when we found his body, he was stiff, and, and daddy said, his daddy told my granddaddy said he was ugly. So it was, it was called Stiff and Ugly. But really, it's a, it's a Native American, an Indian, an Indian uh, a word, a stiff and ugly of the uh, Creek Nation and all. But back then, they thought they'd found an old body there. But that is a great place to fish. I want to show you where to go if you go there, okay? I'm going to show you. Here's a, it's a public ramp, okay? I'm going to keep it all in the middle of the screen. You see right there, that's a ramp, nice ramp. Now go, just go upriver just a little bit, upriver, okay? And hang off to the right. See right? First, really, the first, take a first ride, okay, into this slough. That's called Outside Lake. There's some really good fishing along here in, in Outside Lake. You, can on, you don't get on back there. The locals going to be mad at me for showing this to y'all, but I promise you this is good fishing, plenty of fish for everybody. When I see these pictures, I'm still fascinated for the past year. All these little things right here are, are trees that are still blown over. Google Earth, if you get a chance to get on Google Earth and look at all these places that are blown over like this, it's, it's amazing. So anyway, that's fresh water and on the big river. Now, uh, quickly, uh, same thing's going on on Choctatchee and also on Carabelle River. All these rivers, everything sort of brought, brought in. Uh, you saw what Sledge called it uh, right below uh, Weewa Willis Landing. He, Lawrence Sledge, they called it had about 100 something brim between that fishing party. Beautiful brim and shellcracker. 
inshore, first of all, offshore, right near shore, the mahi is still hitting it hard. They're catching some kings right now, but the mahi bite has been strong uh, for several months, and, uh, and it's been uh, two months for sure. And now, inshore, again, the same, the same story as far as, uh, as where you want to go uh, in St. Joe Bay. By the way, they're having, they're having a big tournament, the inshore slam, I believe the next week or two. I got to get information on that. Uh, it'll be down at Press Nails. They always have a, a real big tournament down there. And that's coming up. Uh, the Blacks Island, fishing around Blacks Island, the trout and redfish have been pretty good. You, you want to get that outgoing tide down there. It's, it's really, the crabs and all have grown a lot. Uh, the crabs are sort of moving around. The redfish are really feeding on those crabs now. Same thing, the same thing going on out here at the pass on the outgoing tide. I've mentioned this before uh, with the crabs and all. The bait fish, I was sitting in my house yesterday afternoon up in North Bay. Folks, there are a lot about, I watch these pelicans, I'm in this area here, and there are pelicans all over North Bay. They told me one thing, bait fish all over North Bay, bait fish over North Bay, same way in Apalachicola Bay at East Bay, an upper end of, of, of uh, of the Apalachicola Bay system. There are a lot of bait fish up there now. The bait fish is growing. They're balling up. They're coming to the surface. The redfish are driving them up the surface. The birds are feeding on them. Uh, you know, a lot of folks move in and want to know basically what's going on. That's what's going on here. And all the same thing in Choctatchee Bay. The river's low. A lot of clear water. Uh, a lot of clear water. Uh, bridge fishing has been really good. Uh, the south uh, here, the tackle store here, uh, Bay Tackle have reported a lot of good catches of trout and redfish in Choctahatchee Bay. I'm going to run out of time again. Don't forget Friday Night Lights. I want to see you folks up there at the Bozeman Field or the Bozeman Sneeds game. And uh, like I say, we're going to be up there and, uh, and I'm going to give me a hot dog and, and, a, and a cold drink and enjoy a good football game. Thank you all. We had a good week here. We've got a, got a good week coming up next week. Thank you all for watching the show. Appreciate the viewership. I always appreciate you supporting our sponsors. Do something outdoors this weekend and stay cool. Don't get too hot. You have a great day, a great weekend. Enjoy the outdoors and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.